Fortunately, the vehicle drivers are trained to stay on the road to success under extreme circumstances, such as not being on a road while being bombarded with testing apparatus. Okay, so we have a companion cube. We've got that. Um, jeez. Huh. Okay. So we want to go... Up to yellow? Can I do that? I think I probably have to. No. No, I don't have to go up to yellow. This is actually a fair bit simpler than I'm thinking it is. Because all I have to do is make my cars more or less land here. Go here. And then voila. There's probably a more ideal solution to this. But I neither know nor care. Okay, I should probably actually add some girders to this just so it's stable. My girders always end up being this like kind of weird, awkward... Awkward shape. I guess if I started from the middle, it would probably be the best way to, to get it to work. Well, I mean, we lose a guy. Malfunctioning. But it works. Okay. Uh, I'm going to just lower this. So what was... This was this. This whole thing. Okay. When in doubt, cables. Significantly less wiggly. Oh, okay, so I actually have to angle this up more. Which probably means we lose the guy in the process, but whatever. Is it just me or are these portals like a little small? Critical error. <laughs> oh man, I love it when they just kind of crash. Okay. So now what we have to do is just make this durable. Should work. I guess the other thing I can do is humorously. Probably kind of jam some of these together. That's not. None of this is secure. And it looks like if I just move this down a little bit more, the uh, the flying companion cube shouldn't hit it. Okay. I don't hate you. Oof. Okay, so we need we need some more defenses, right? Well, do we? Yeah, we need we need defenses. We need some more support right here. Well, when in doubt, excess, uh, let's see, can I, I guess I could just pick this one up and move it. There we go. Yeah, I'd love to see, like, a professional engineer play one of these games. Like, uh, somebody that actually builds bridges for a living. It's gotta be magic. Okay, so let's, let's build this. I'm gonna make this a slighter angle. Because I bet we don't need it to be more than this. We've got this whole, like, ramp here, but I don't know if there's anything I can do with that. 
Yeah. Hmm. Okay, let's send the convoy. This is still really sketchy. I mean, I can connect this whole thing, which would actually make both sides a lot more secure. But it'd be a fair bit of time invested for not a whole lot of reward. All right, we're good. Just as it starts to fall apart, but that's okay. Redundancy, redundancy is good. There we go. This test requires the vehicles to drive faster than their safety limiters allow. The orange Aperture Science Propulsion Gel is able to increase the test vehicle's velocity threefold. As a side effect, it also provides marginal increases to vehicle driver fun. And I'm just gonna... All right. There's our answer. So, pretty much, whoops. We wanna get this over so it can connect. We don't need to, but it helps. Because more or less, we're trying to, we're going to try and fire them into, into space, I think. Let's see. And then I guess we just let them down. Now, this isn't going to work. I still don't, oh, test is just to see... I see. That's what test does. All test is there for is just to tell you if uh, if it's going to hold together. It does does nothing like send a test vehicle. Not that it's necessarily you know required for this. Okay, test. Well, it seems stable. Let's give it a go. It's probably going to go poorly. Nope. It's all good. Bit shaky, but it's all good. Convoy! Like it's really just like a, a less gradual curve. Would have been perfect. Alright, whatever. Next level. Let's see, what level is this? 16 out of 60, yeah, so it's, it's... The existing construction is an example of how to apply the principle of deflection, which uses anchor points that are not directly accessible. Don't forget that we have granted you unlimited access to the Library of Best Practices to review other useful principles. Okay. So, as usual... We probably want to go this this way. Probably. Oh. Okay, there we go. Hmm. I maybe didn't consider this design very well when I was putting it together. I'll get better at bridge triangles. Let's see. Luckily, I've got plenty of wiggle room to get this going. Okay. So next up, we want to just do... Well, I mean, I can connect it to the upper area. This is probably going to stress it out, though, and break it. Who knows? I certainly don't. Okay. Drive! Ooh. Okay, yep. Stupid ropes. Aren't helpful here. Uh, 
Let's see. Can I do this? Looks like I should be able to. Oh, well, duh. I just realized I have an anchor point here that I'm, I'm not actually leveraging. And I totally should. There we go. Uh, still a bit busted. Okay. Well, kind of knew this would, was going to happen. This thing is uh, a piece of garbage. As are all of my bridges. Now, there's no way that I can connect all of these. I should probably make some bridges that just rely entirely on uh, cables. I think that'd be fun. Okay, so it is... ...having some issues on that one. Well, mainly I just wanted to see if this would uh, safely get it across. Okay, so that's good. All we have to do is... ...bypass this... ...structural design problem. I guess part of it is... I can just extend it like a road over there. May not be an anchor point, but I believe it'll still hold its weight. Yeah, there we go. It's still a little stress there. If I uh, connected these here, it'd probably do the trick. But I don't really know. All right. Good luck, convoy. Let's let's see if this holds. Unfortunately, it's still got some pretty bad stress points. So having all of them on at the same time, nope, it's perfectly fine. Yeah, this would this would not pass in real life. You'd see these stress stress points, and your supervisor would be like, "Hell no!" But this ain't real life, and we only have to get this to work once. In this test, the blue Aperture Science Repulsion Gel will reflect any objects that fall onto it. Please enjoy observing all the fun that the vehicle drivers will have. Magnificent. Hmm. This is honestly concerning. We only have a couple of connection points here. So this is probably just going to, uh... It's probably just going to have problems. Not much I can do about it, though. Uh, let's see. Cables. Okay, that'll, that'll help keep it a little bit. The problem is they flip. Alternatively, flipping flipping is acceptable. That shouldn't work. None of this should work. Why does this work? I... Unfortunately, this thing's going to crack under its own weight. I don't have, like, an easy fix. Because, yeah, right now, that's... That's no good. Yeah, there we go. Uh... Death and destruction. How do we how do we do this? I mean, I guess maybe we get rid of some of the chaff. Cuz part of the reason why this might be crumbling is just purely under its own weight.
Okay, yeah, I know I can build under the road. I just don't know if that's really going to help me. Because if anything, that pulls it down more. Yeah, building down here is no good. Well, maybe we don't even need this section here. No, we did we did need it or we needed something. Okay, so that that worked. That shouldn't have. Okay. Okay. Because this, this actually works. It might not work with the convoy, though. That's, that's the one worry. Yeah, I could always build down. There's no way that works. I mean, it does. Okay, yeah, let's... Let's let's do this. Cause yeah, you can build braces like that. Uh so if that kind of doesn't work. Cause this is like one triangle. And, like, that doesn't... None of this works. Because that's in the way. Because, yeah, this down here doesn't really keep it up. I guess it kind of does. Alright, let's throw... Oh, it's a times eight convoy. Whew. I... This is not going to go well. Because, yeah, chances are they're going to impact on each other here. No? Huh. <laughs> okay. That didn't work so hot. Alright. Screw it. We have other options. Oh. Wait. Hold on. Uh, let's see. Can I can I just clear construction? Okay, there we go. Screw you and your dumb bridge. I got this. When in doubt, 
screw it. Let's let's just screw the bouncy fluids. They're they're holding us back, man. They're they're making us do weird tricks that we shouldn't we shouldn't be doing. This isn't gonna work at all. But you know what? I I believe in myself. I believe in uh, the power of cheats. And I believe in the power of over-constructing a dumb bridge for the sake of bypassing every basic mechanic that was explained during this puzzle. Okay. Okay, now this is almost immediately gonna crash. But that's fine. We kind of expected that. So you know what we can do, right? We can just build on this. It's bouncy for not me. And so I'm just going to make the most uh, over-designed bridge ever. Okay, so it's still falling apart. Hmm. Okay. Does that work? That should work. Let's get some extra, let's get some extra struts in here. Just for the sake of, uh, redundancy. Because currently I can just put these here. And they'll hold the whole thing up. Convoy! It's not gonna like it, but we're fine. Is there money attack? Uh, is there money cap? Nope, there's no money cap. And can you attach cables to the ceiling? No. The only two attachment points are over here. Uh, technically, I could have actually uh, attached some cables to this point over here, but uh, yeah, no, screw your bouncy nonsense. <laughs> We're just going around. All right, and I that cost that's a very costly bridge, hundred nine thousand dollars to cross a giant death pit. Click to start. All right. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hit drive. Let's see what happens. So he goes really fast. Bounces a couple times. Dies. Okay. Build. So we wanna probably just build the most like basic jump ever. Yeah, there's also like that right there. Now that didn't work. Oh, I gotcha. We want to be up here. Probably. We go up, over, down, and then bounce. Yeah, if I could block their vision with other things, this would work better. Hmm. If I could put portals on surfaces, I could do things. <laughs> okay. 
He'll get there eventually. Probably. Uh, let's see. Because, yeah, I can't put these down. I can't. Well, hmm. Yeah, so we want to... We want to... Oops. I didn't even know where that, that was going. We want to connect this. We want to make a basic bridge here. Because no matter what, it'll probably run into the la run into lasers. Now, I can't... Yeah, I, I cannot pass anything through the through the laser bridge. That's that's not kosher. That'll delete everything except for the vehicles. Okay. And we wanna move. Kind of no point in me doing this yet. Hmm. So this one falls apart, but that surprises no one. I think I actually have to move this connection point there. Okay, cool. So the main problem is still getting across into here. Hmm. Because originally what I was hoping to do was make like a small jump, but that's not gonna work. I, okay. Build. Let's let's get rid of a bunch of these things. We want to go up and over. Uh, let's move this over a bunch. I don't know how steep I can make this, but if I can make it like crazy steep, maybe we can uh kind of have it that they they like point down into it, if that makes sense. It's probably not going to work, though. Let's see, I might as well do this, connect you, here. Now, obviously, this isn't going to work, for obvious reasons. Well, that actually kind of worked. Because what I'm trying to do is kill the kill the momentum really hard. That way they have enough momentum to drive off here and do the bounce. Critical error. There we go. Okay. And then we've got to just move this over. All right, that kind of works. Because, yeah, the, the speed boost is the main killer here. But it looks like this this might function. Badly. And the one guy really should have held on better, but, like, whatever. That's his fault. Okay, so the last issue is is pretty simple. We just got to make a, a secondary ramp to actually get them up. I could no, well, you know, I could actually make like a a hanging thing instead of trying to catch them. I don't hate you, but I don't know how well that would work. All right, there we go, oh, and safe. Sketchy, safe, send the convoy. It's only three, actually, so that shouldn't be so bad. Now 
malfunctioning. Okay, there we go. Well, that's actually kind of impressive. <laughs> I <laughs> juggling forklifts. I'm just impressed those boxes haven't haven't been removed. I'm also really impressed that this is this is stable. Like I really would have expected these guys to to stop. But no, they got stuck for a moment, broke everything. All right. Well, uh, sticking with the trends of saying "screw you" to game mechanics, I think this. I think the bounce trap is actually a, a trap. I, I think I actually have to do something like this and just bypass the whole thing. I mean, we've got plenty of uh, structural support, so that's. Hardly a problem. All we have to do is just uh, make sure it's it endures. Is that enough? No. Okay, it sags a bit. So maybe if I just do... Maybe if I just do that. Okay, let's try the convoy. Let's see, why do I have an endless loop? Because these guys are dumb. It'd be nice if you could uh, control the, the pace at which they came out. Because if they actually came out with a little bit of a delay, it would have been fine. But we're good. Yeah. Just sometimes all you need to do is... Actually, I think that was cheaper than when I was trying to do the, the, uh, the forklift catcher. 